Hey everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 today with a brand new sandbox park and this is actually going to be a little series. We are playing on the potentially most complicated but also in my opinion most interesting sandbox map or challenge mode map that is available. That is the um, yeah Ca Grand Canyon uh, Central America desert map I guess it is. It is a large map and it provides um, a, quite a challenge to be honest because the map is relatively scattered into areas. I will show this in the real-time part at the end of today's video um, where we're going to have a look into um, this park and what I'm going to do. So today's episode is going to focus on the arriving or the arrival area which is going to be some helipads, uh, hotel area, the uh, big visitor center and basically where you just get into the park. Um, if you're here for dinosaurs today I'm very sorry no dinosaurs in that <laughs> in that episode, um, mainly because I just wanted to focus first of all on setting um, this up and in the next episode we are going to focus on the first real habitat. So yeah, this is going to be it for today in Jurassic World Evolution. But if you want to see dinosaurs, I have you covered yesterday. I made a kind of a little cinematic video which people seem to be uh, liking quite a bit. Uh, you can find that on the channel and also we played my other sandbox mode with a couple of um, cool ideas about uh, yeah, animals and how to build in here and then we also have the campaign mode that I started yesterday. Now a couple of things and tomorrow we'll go on with some more stuff and we will see some dinosaur finally in the here. So that's gonna be very interesting. Now let's talk about um, this build a little bit more in particular. It's been a challenge, not gonna lie, and I really want to use this series to go very much into detail as much as possible with the game. I I do say that right away, this game is not a game like Planet Coaster or Planet Zoo in terms of possibilities. So we have to get creative to do things differently and we have to get um, very much into using and abusing things in a different way. There are not the same techniques that apply from usual uh, sandbox games, uh, simply because this game is a lot more limited. We can't build bridges, tunnels or anything like that. We can't um, abuse pieces for anything else because you can't merge things together. The hitboxes are still relatively, well, unusable when it comes to making creative stuff because they are just freaking big. Um, but there is obviously a lot of uh, different things you can do. I do have to say a couple of things about the brush tool um, of foliage. And it was already one of my biggest complaints in Jurassic World Evolution 1 and it remains one of my biggest issues in Jurassic World Evolution 2. The way how the brush works uh, is obviously great to create larger scale habitats in very short amount of time, which definitely is a focus of the game, but it doesn't allow you to have enough control over the foliage in my opinion. I can't even put some palm trees along the pathway to make an alley or something simply because the palm tree to grow needs such a humongous area already so that you're mostly left with some bushes, which again makes this whole appear so open and shallow um, that sometimes I just would love to have some you know they don't need to have all of them in there but just some of the plants would be so lovely to have as single individual pieces or just you know lower the brush down to be even smaller and more dense whatever like that it would be really cool because th that would give me the chance to put some more things down you know what I mean it's really at this point I'm, I'm just like, I want to put down some more palm trees or like bushes or whatnot, but I don't have the control. I can only use the brush and then just go there. But you can see over here already, building became really quickly very finicky and I used the fence to have like a little bit of a ruler uh, where to put things because I wanted to make this like a... Um, backstage area over here and put some other things as a fence down so just making these kind of lamp posts here as like almost um concrete blocks or whatnot so along you know this is this is something i really wanted to focus on doing quite a bit more uh simply because it helps to sell the idea of having a backstage area of the hotels you know this is like all the facility stuff where you, you would go and you know where the food is going to be brought and i don't know maybe even the stuff lives and stuff, stuff like that so yeah this is what i made there to the side a little bit of a facility area and i wanted to make the arrival area obviously pretty much nice looking as it is right now so that you don't fall into the park right away because that's not how it would be you would have like a huge area to live 
um, before you go into the park. And this is where we start making the first habitat, which is going to be like a herbivore, small herbivore area, which could even be like a little bit of a petting area for the hotel guests, you know, go there with the family, get some tours into the habitat. This is my idea to build here um, and then this is all connected with a big uh, hotel complex over here and then this is going to be the entrance with the big visitor center um, in which you are going to you know get your passes get your fast passes whatnot um, and all these kind of things you know are available at the visitor center and I thought it makes sense to have it at the beginning of our zoo and to, to ensure that the people have all the info they need right at their very beginning of the park. So um, logistics is very important. You can see this is, uh, yeah, I tried my best in selling the idea of a park. And yes, there are a lot more creative controls than in Jurassic World Evolution 1, um, let alone the fact that you have all the deco pieces um, that they, you know, can be put on the pathway. It is already a huge win um, and it allows you to build a lot more nice looking things. You can see I made this little seating area here because I figured that would be a crazy view over the canyon um, and uh, so I tried to put things down but yeah even in this first build which was like an hour of work um, you start to realize how less decorative pieces there are and you really have to get creative with the pieces to make things look the way you want them to be looking and yeah I don't know I, I think I have to really go deeper into my creative uh, brain uh, to find some other ways of doing some, you know, more different builds than always the same. Um, it is possible. There are ways of doing it. I have some things planned which take a little more time um, because they are super finicky, but yeah, this is what you need to do to make things different, you know. Um, just invest the time to find out what you want to do. Also here we are separating the hotel area real quick, uh, making sure that you put some other things here just to, you know, make it look a bit better. And again, this is where I exactly wanted to have a bit more control of the foliage. I would have loved to have just a couple more trees, make them a bit more dense. I tried different brushes, I tried different techniques of... I, I remember that there was a way of doing it uh, by clicking differently and just making sure that they appear but it just did not work and I couldn't make them go there which is ah just give me that control you know but yeah at the end um, I'm still very pleased with the result so that shows that you can build a lot more nice um, than you could do in Jurassic World Evolution 1. The buildings and the different building styles help you a lot uh, having different restroom styles and stuff um, helps a lot to get a bit of a better idea of using these building buildings in a different contexts. Um, and I think I will also um, try to experiment a lot more with the amenities later because you have that much more control over the amenities that means I will potentially use them a lot more to try and sell some more ideas but yeah this map really seems to be the way to go when you want to have a challenge and I'm I'm very much looking forward to how that turns out so you can see I I tried to make a little bit of a path layout here already just so you know where we go in um, but we will discuss this in the real time part which is going to start in a couple of seconds so I leave you alone with the last little bits of the time lapse and then we see each other in the real time part. All right, so here we are in the real-time part. You can see this is uh, how it looks in-game, and I think, um, especially in this game, you have to have that. Um, let's quickly move into the... Um, yeah, I think you can't see that, right? I need to go into the capture mode because you guys obviously can't see when I'm in Ansel, but uh, this is how it looks, and um, I think we can have a better look without all the UI elements. Now, um, I tried to put some other things down so it looks that we have more than one arrival point, so we've got two helipads because, honestly, with this amount of space and this large size of a park, it makes a lot more sense that you have 
have more arrival points than one. I'm also tempted to have like a little bit of an idea, like almost like a tunnel that comes out of here to make like another parking lot. Uh, but we don't know yet. I mean, we have to do it somewhere in this way. But yeah, look at that. We have this hotel area. And I think this hotel area especially looks kind of cool. You have this here to the side with this freaking canyon. And I could imagine, you know, having a room here. Boy, that looks fantastic. Like just chill in here, you know, having that look. Um, I, I thought about putting a pool in in the form of a... Uh, of a lagoon but this is just way too big so I don't know maybe I'm making like a second hotel area that has a pool and I think this could look a bit more nice but they have all the pool on the roof so that's also pretty neat for the guest and then we've got the visitor center on the center here and if you come let's just play that real quick so imagine you land here with your helicopter and then you would go through here and this is like oops I can't go there um, this is then where you have the um, arrival point you know check in get into the hotel and stuff like that uh, you leave your baggages and so on on the right hand side you have the Jurassic tour where you can book some tours already and so on and so forth um, there's a little bit of a link here to the other side which is the arrival point and this is where you can put the luggages and they're brought in here I imagine and this is where the luggages are then uh, brought into the hotel area it's kind of like you know a bit of an idea uh, to use that as like a facility rather than a tour um, you couldn't connect that obviously but you know at Celsius I guess and then you go here, you have this one of a viewing area. I think the viewing area over here is kind of cool. Um, if you have this view later on, and then on the other hand side, there is like a, a huge habitat with like maybe some brachiosaurus and stuff that you can see. That would be amazing to see, I guess. And then here to the left hand side, bit of water. Um, this almost looks like a playground with uh, the old style built. This is also what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to make sure that this is like a, a little bit of a playground for the kids maybe. And then this is where you go into the park. So yeah, that's about it. Not much more to say. And next episode, we'll be focusing on the first habitats, um, which I guess will be on this spot, first of all. I think we will, first of all, tackle this whole area before we then go into, well, a lot more, I guess. Can I zoom out more than this? Okay, this is the maximum. No, I can't. I can't go more than that. Okay, so this is the maximum. Oh my god, this is going to be humongous. This is going to be crazy. But okay, we will see how that turns out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy the content you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. That's the easiest way of following along. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good time. Have a good one and goodbye.